guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. Sherry here. Uh, so this is going to be a twin flame reading for September the 13th until the 20th of 2018. Today is September the 11th and I'm going to be using the Osho Zen deck. Um, so I may read a card or two but I think I'm going to leave um, any reading for the extended version of the Twin Flames, so you can purchase that in the link below. So let me pull the cards first and then um, we'll go through the positions. And of course I'm going to use my my deck for any clarifiers, um, but also um, I'll be using my deck in the extended version as well. I really love the Osho Zen. It always gives great messages, very clear. Okay, so let me give my deck here a quick shuffle. So beginning with the overall energy for this coming week is the Three of Cups celebration. Um, so being in a playful, um, in a playful mood, connecting with your friends, your vibe tribe, um, celebrating life, going out in the rain and dancing. Beautiful. This card is also about union as well. All right, so the feminine past position, courage, the strength card. Um, not only does this card talk about compassion, um, which is a very innocent love. It is beyond love. There's sexuality, then there's love, and then there's compassion. So this, this card talks about kindness and compassion, creating this beautiful, loving, gentle um, space, um, but having inner strength to conquer your fears. Now what's depicted here is a flower that is growing on a wall. It doesn't know that it's growing on a wall, it's just growing. It's um, moving towards the light. All right. So the feminine, um, there's a lot of growth here and she has had the courage to, to grow in an environment that wasn't suitable for her. Um, but courage and you know it's a very strong energy that was felt in her past uh, for the mid-month energy update there was um, the uh, solar plexus chakra um, activation coupled with the Sun in the present and there's just all this beautiful energy um, centered on the feminine really coming into her power but it's a very gentle loving um, nurturing kind of energy. The past position for the masculine, while wow, Ace of Swords. This card showed up in the soul position for the mid month. Three Aces showed up on his side. So the masculine's really coming into alignment. He is consciousness, awareness. There's no wanting, no need here. Clarity and decision. Present position feminine, the high priest, nothingness. Now the high priest um, showed up behind the Six of Swords card for the September forecast reading. Um, so in the present position, she is also in the state of pure consciousness, wanting nothing, just being Buddha. Perfect. 
very similar energy. Now the high priest also is um, somebody who's a spiritual leader, connecting the collective consciousness um, to source and vice versa. You know, the, um, connecting man and the collective consciousness, but also divine guidance as well. Good. That's beautiful. I, you know, the feminine is really having a hard time uh, releasing the past. And here we see um, her moving into stillness, into surrender, which um, is the hangman energy. And that was uh, the overall energy for the mid-month update. So the present position for the masculine ten of pentacles. We are the world. Another, t uh, another one reduces to one, so we got it. 11, <clears throat> um, 10 pentacles is completion, um, you know, you feel like you have everything you're ever going to need, you don't have to worry about anything in the physical reality, um, but this card is really kind of pointing to this worldly connectiveness, the, the uh, collective consciousness. We are all linked together. And I think I might read this one in the uh, extended reading. The near future for the feminine is the Eight of Wands traveling. Um, so this could mean communication, but in this card, um, it talks about there not being a destination. You are the destination. Um, just experiencing life, going on an adventure. Um, this is also an energy of accelerated motion, uh, sending seeds of intention out into the universe and having it return to you. So the feminine may be going from a static to movement, um, but we'll see what the rest of the cards say. All right, so the near future masculine intensity, the night of fire. So this is very directed movement very powerful creative energy it's keeping your eye on the prize being focused but being in a pure state unhindered so what I'm feeling with this is you know there was a lot of fire and passion in on the masculine side of the reading with the king and queen of fire and the lovers card so what I see here is like a decision made, feeling ready, feeling it's time and then movement with directed force, a blast out of the gate. Um, we'll leave the final outcome for later. So let's move into the feminine side here. What is she bringing into union? Awareness, wow. This card is consciousness, but it, it is, you know, heightened awareness. Oh, this more speaks of self, I think. Um, this is the chariot and the Rider Weight deck. Um, I might read this card in the extended reading, but you can see that there's this childlike figure that is. Um, breaking out of this, I don't want to say hell, but, you know, darkened place. She's being reborn. She is becoming conscious. And uh, we saw that with the September reading, you know, coming out, out of the moon, out of the Four of Swords, and also in the mid-month, she is holding on to a lot of thoughts. Right, that she that this union is is um, opening her up to. She's releasing, becoming aware, conscious. What is masculine bringing? Silence. The star card. The star card showed up a lot in the masculine's readings. It was um, the final message from the universe for the mid month. It's coming in the future. So silence what I'm really seeing again is that Buddha stillness 
feeling this tremendous peace within. Okay, but also it means, you know, wishes coming true. Both aspects are mirroring one another. Look at the face. It's almost it's almost the same face, right? Third eye chakra activation. Consciousness. May read that one too. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so for the foundation, what are they standing on? Wow, suppression. So the 10 is completion. So they couldn't take it anymore. Um, it, you know, they, they were caught in this machine. They were holding back. They had too many responsibilities. And so like the Phoenix rising, um, they're coming from the ashes. Right, just... You know, and this is also reflected on in the feminine too. Um, for the mid month, uh, she had the coming out. I think it was, but it, it also reflected that it, that cracking, that breaking. That uh, I also felt that in the masculine side for the September reading that he was being dismembered. He was coming apart. Okay, so for the crowning, what do they want? Possibilities to be that eagle, to rise above, to see all the possibilities from a higher view. Um, there's a, a new morning, you know, dawn here. Um, this is a kundalini awakening, so the door is open. Uh, it, but this is also um, focused attention like the magician, but it's an expansion at the same time. So not only is there consciousness, but an expansion of that consciousness. So that is incredible, right? The ground, the foundation, um, the falseness has broken away and the phoenix rises like that bird, like the eagle. This is what they desire. <clears throat> and here we have movement, both fire, spirituality, accelerated energy. You know, the, the night of fire is like a sports car and the aid of fire is gas, you know, stepping on the gas. So I see this as like an ascension. The heart space, seven of swords, politics, the mask is being removed. The falseness, the lies, the, the you know, the persona, the personality. I had that message as well. I picked that up in the mid month, I think. Or was it September? But consciousness can't exist in falsehood, in falseness, right? Um, someone who is conscious can see through the mask. They can spot somebody who's being pretentious or fake instantly. So the masks are coming off. There is you're revealing your your innermost selves to one another you you're seeing each other for who you truly are, are behind all the glitter right rising above the ego final outcome for the feminine is the knight of swords fighting so this um, is somebody who is closed off, ready to detonate. Um, they're frustrated, um, they're angry, right? This shows a man who has these little buttons all over and if you brush up against him, these, they detonate, little bombs go off. But it also shows, uh, I thought it showed two people fighting in the background. I don't see it, but there is a lot of built up frustration here in the feminine and I 
I feel she breaks free of that armor that that those chains holding her down she can't take it anymore right breaking out of it so let me just pull one card here from the deck that I shuffle just one clarifier please sacral chakra this card showed up in the soul space for the mid-month in the past so there was there's emotional <clears throat> sorry an emotional blockage definitely for the feminine she is wearing armor she is backing down emotionally and um, you know I feel that she's moving through that that she is dealing with it once and for all removing that mask putting down that box of memories you know um, not projecting her thoughts and her feelings onto the masculine. These are all concepts that came from the, the mid-month. Okay, and so for the final outcome for the masculine, we have the dream, Six of Cups. So this card is reunion, um, but it's also reminiscing, desiring the feminine, thinking about reuniting with her. This card comes with a warning not to get caught up in the fantasy, the dream. Right? So, I'm going to pull one card for that. There we go. There's that third eye chakra. It showed up in the future position as well for the masculine. So, he is using his intuition. He, you know, the, what I'm feeling here is he just can't stop thinking about her. Um, he has these visions but they're coming from this deep knowing and this love that the two of you shared is what's um, guiding him so remember that the overall energy is celebration um, celebrating love um, celebrating with friends um, you know just having fun being playful and that was definitely also a message message that I was getting in the mid month the feminine is moving into this more playful energy okay so we can see that transition happening with her so she she is dealing with that um, armor she's seeing her blockage and releasing it with the three of cups okay so the masks are coming off and consciousness is rising. So cool. Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards as final message from the universe. Um, I'm going to use John Holland, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Final messages do you have for Twin Flames for this coming week? Okay, for the masculine and the feminine. Okay, masculine is feeling alone, five of pentacles. Feeling separated, wanting to return home. And I also was feeling that message as well in the physical space for the mid-month wanting to go home I also felt that in this you know in the September uh, forecast it was coming in the past feeling alone wanted wanting to return home and we see that longing up there as well okay so for the feminine is the strength card control same card down here and again it was a repeated theme self-control um, being gentle so let's read those. Okay, I'll do the masculine first. So the key words are lack, abandoned, insecurity, support. True love and emotional support may seem lacking at this time. This card suggests a period of feeling lonely or abandoned 
You may think that no one understands your needs or even cares about you. Perhaps someone you turn to for support has deserted you or a hoped for love has rejected you. Your insecurities may rise to the surface to, to overwhelm you at this time. All that you desire may seem unattainable. Don't let your confidence be shaken. There are lessons in everything and know that this difficult period is only temporary. Your spirit guides and the divine support you. Talk with them about how you're feeling and what you need right now. Also seek the support of those friends and family who are there for you. Help is at hand. You just don't see it. Be careful because depression feeds upon itself. Lift yourself out of it by doing something physical. Take a walk, exercise, sing, or even volunteer your time. You will feel better and in doing so will attract happiness into your life. Okay, so reach out. That's the energy that he's in and, and there is movement for sure. Okay, so strength card. Uh, okay. So the key words, master, influence, accept, compassion, patience, confidence. In order to flourish, relationship must be fluid and free rather than overly rigid and controlled by emotions, neediness, or insecurity. It is important to master your emotions so that they do not rule the relationship. A partnership based solely on emotions is out of balance and out of control. Self-control is key here. Act from a combination of emotion and intellect, and your relationship will thrive and grow. Be sure that your influence is gentle and loving. This is not a time for uh, domination. This card asks you to accept another person's uniqueness and not require that person to conform to mold uh, of your choosing, just to make you feel more comfortable. This card is also serves as a reminder to come from compassion and understanding rather than anger and frustration. Now is the time for patience, steadiness, and clear thinking. Apply these qualities to your relationship with others and yourself. If you're involved with a difficult person or situation, try to look through the other person's eye and experience what his or her heart and soul feels. And that's that projection I think I feel. Try to see the situation from another person's perspective. Um, with self-control comes confidence. Allow a situation to unfold and detach yourself from the outcome. Don't try to control it. The end result of self-control and confidence is supreme peace. Take some time to examine how control in its many aspects is affecting your relationship. Okay, so control, I think you, you see how you've been behaving and how it's been um, maybe causing a blockage. The control I saw in the mid-month reading was very beautiful, very powerful. It was um, connected with the sun. So I think we're, you know, you're being reborn out of that fire. Um, and yeah, just finding this inner strength. All right, so I do hope this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe. All right, cheers. Love you.